Hello, this is Kaki Lee and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show, where I'll be sharing daily bite-sized pearls of wisdom I've picked up along my life journey that has allowed me to embrace and unleash my inner abundant goddess. And that's exactly what I want for you, to embrace and unleash your inner abundant goddess. I love talking about anything and everything to do with life, but I especially love talking about money, mindset and energy, which is the main focus here. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to my show so you don't miss out on your daily dose of wisdom for myself. And also follow me and let me know what you think on Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. Now let's get into it. Welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show and day 13 of my 40 Days to 40 series, where I share 40 things I've learned in my life so far over 40 days. Today's pearl of wisdom is prosperity is not what you have. And yes, I am doing a bit of a plug for my latest multi-author book, Prosperity Codes, which is available today at 9 a.m. your local time, today being the 3rd of May. So grab your copy. In Australia, it's 99 cents for the Kindle or 14.29 for the physical copy. US, it's 70 cents for the Kindle and 12.99 for the physical UK friends, it's 99p for the Kindle and 9.99 for the physical. So please do grab your copy. And I wanted to talk about prosperity today because prosperity codes, but it is something that I have learned um, in my 40 years Earthside that we have been taught prosperity incorrectly. As a society, when we think of prosperity, it is money, big houses, fancy cars, luxury goods. But prosperity is so much more than that. Just read any of the chapters in the prosperity codes. But for me, um, you know, when I, even when I was thinking about what I was going to write in the chapter for prosperity codes, immediately, I thought prosperity, well, that means that I should write about how I transitioned from being a hospital pharmacist to now doing my own thing because I was able to replace my nine to five income share trading. So replace my six figure income share trading. I mean, that's prosperity, isn't it? But it just didn't feel right. And I have this thing where my inspiration or downloads, whatever you want to call it, likes to come last minute. So I had over a month to write my chapter. I wrote my chapter in the last week, that the week before it was due. And I didn't, I still didn't know what I was going to write, but these words came to me one morning one evening I can't even really remember the specifics but I just remember these words came and it was prosperity is not what you have but who you are and then I got full goosebumps which I'm getting now and it was like wow that is so profound and I knew I had to write my chapter on something deeper something where it's not just about having money is about your state of being. So for me, prosperity is your state of being. It is about having prosperity or abundance in every single area of your life. The most important is knowing who you are, what you are and how you are without all the labels and all the external validations. It is your deepest truth of knowing who you are and embracing it, is being able to create a life that you truly truly desire without keeping up with the Joneses or the Smiths or the Leeds or whoever else is around you. That is what prosperity is to me. And in my chapter, I write about that and talk about it more in a story form and also some tips on how you can create your own definition of prosperity. So today I really encourage you to take a step back, to take some time and look at what prosperity actually means to you. What would your life look like if you did prosperity, if you chose prosperity the way that you want, 
not what society wants, not what your best friend wants, but how you want it. Prosperity, yes, it could mean money, but it all could, could also be just having an, like enough to have a very free lifestyle. You might be wanting to live off the grid. Maybe you just want to grow your own food and be self-sustaining. What does prosperity mean to you? Does really working an 18-hour day to hustle so that you have the money really mean prosperity to you? For me, that sounds like, you know, so, yeah, just doesn't sound good to me at all. It makes me feel quite sick to have to think about working 18 hours to create enough money to show off what I have. For me, I just want to work 18 hours a week, right? And have the resources to create the life that I have, to be able to spend time with my loved ones, to provide choice for my loved ones, to do the things that I want to do in my life, not what my boss wants me to do for his, <laughs> for his life or for his company, right? But It's different for everyone. So really, I encourage you today to take some time out to really reflect and think about what prosperity means to you and also to buy your copy of Prosperity Codes so that you can open your minds to the infinite ways that you can embody and define prosperity. And that's the end of day 13 of my 40 Days to 40 series. Please share this episode with anyone that needs a reminder that prosperity is not what you have. If you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my podcast and remember to follow me over at Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. There's fun things happening there leading up to my 40th birthday on the 30th of May. Details of the first giveaway is already up. And lastly, if you're interested in working with me or learning from me to create multiple sources of income, DM me on Facebook or Instagram or email me at hello at kakilee.com.